Cage Minds, and once again, we got Ray Visa with us. So, I know that you came out with a victory, but tell us about how you tripped up to Colorado for King of the Cage went. God, it was, it was cool, you know what I mean? Um, just, it was a life experience, you know? Just, you never get to, uh, you know, you want to take uh, advantage of those uh, opportunities to go out to places like that, you know what I mean? So, it was, it was great, you know what I mean? It was great for my career, you know what I mean? And we saw you took advantage of opportunities. I saw the photo later with the ring girl after the fight. I Victorious to, champion smile. I have to. <laughs> <laughs> now tell us about the fight. How did you feel you performed? We know you got the W. Tell us about that. Like I said, first round, man, it just it was pretty much dominance by me. I tried getting the submission, guillotine, but I just didn't have a right position on it. But once I got on top, I just I landed an elbow and I just I cut him up. I cut him open right away, and you know what I mean. I just my ground and pound was real good, and then. Uh, first round, uh, second round, I caught him with a jab, and then it just went to the ground, and he gave me his back, and I just got the choke and got the victory. <laughs> now, where do you go from here? We know you picked up another fight quickly, but for your performance to evolve, where do you go to? Uh, just it's like my dad said, I'm getting better every fight, so it's just it's it's gonna happen. You know what I mean? Like I'm hoping I finish this fight quicker than my last fight. You know what I mean? I just that's that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to trying to finish fights more I don't want to be going those I mean I don't mind going three rounds you know what I mean but I don't want to do that I want to finish fights and I want to make like you know what I mean make statements that I'm here you know what I mean I'm here and I'm gonna represent New Mexico well Chase Eminer is gonna be the opponent in this one upcoming we saw him in action last summer in the King of the Cage tournament what do you know about him though stylistically what kind of matchup this is gonna be just I know he's a ground fighter uh, we were supposed to fight a while back and just never went through and I asked Judy if I can have this fight, and he said yeah, and he gave it to me, so I'm ready for him, and he just he better be ready for me. So that's all I got to say. <laughs> Still being an amateur, trying to get all this experience under your belt. Are, are you rushing this? Is this too quick? Did you have enough time to let the body recuperate from, what, two weekends ago? No, um, I really didn't take that much uh, damage at all, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, my body was sore and all that, but other than that, I, I felt good, you know what I mean? And I'm on weight already, so I'll be, I'll be ready to go. Back-to-back -back wins. Tell us about momentum, how that feels. It feels good, man. You know what I mean? Just got to keep it going, you know? Just got to keep grinding and keep striving, you know, just to get, get to the top, and I'm just going to keep doing it. And then having a promotion like King of the Cage to be able to call up a promoter and stay busy, how much of a blessing is that for an amateur fighter? Just for, like you said, amateur, man, that's, that's a true blessing because, you know, they, they look more towards the pro fighters, you know what I mean, and being an amateur and just... It's, it's great, man. I'm just going to stick with it, and I want a title shot eventually, like, in the future for them. You know what I mean? It'd be nice. What's some keys in this fight? Like you said, you guys are supposed to fight before you know each other a little bit. What's going to be some keys to your victory next Saturday? Uh, I'm just going to keep it standing and bang with them because that's that's what I do. You know what I mean? I know he, he's, a, he's a ground fighter, and so am I. I mean, if we have to go to the ground, I'll be all right, but I'd rather keep standing. So I'm just going to try to keep my kickboxing in the, in the fight and just keep it standing and just... Hopefully get that knockout win. What's the message for the fans? Uh, just appreciate you all. Uh, Edwin, thank you. Appreciate you. I always got to shout you out. You know what I mean? Uh, thank you, CageMinds.com. Uh, thank you, John Judy. Uh, just, uh, just thank you all the fans, and I can't wait to see you all out there. Thank you for the time. Thank you.